Hi guys, we're back with another update on my uh, Senior Hobby Barn tribute build of the uh, AMT 55 Chevy Bel Air. Um, as you can see, we have our paint on, our bare metal foil on. We have it all cleared, nice and nice and shiny. Uh, here's our wheels, which we're going to be using. These are like a Keystone. A version of the Keystone Classics, they're, uh, they're, uh, 21, 22s, and they're gonna sit, the car's gonna sit down pretty low on those, you gonna be sitting something about like that, so we're making it out as a street machine, we got our hood, we put the bird on the hood, we've got the, all the bright work done on it, so we're just, uh, red, that body's ready for basically ready for final assembly. Um, in the previous video, I showed the uh, interior, but we'll look at it again. So we built a console for it because uh, I didn't want to have a uh, three speed on a tree, which is what comes with the kit. I did stick with the uh, original steering wheel. Uh, the kit does come with a street machine style, more modern style wheel, but I kept that. Uh, we did switch out for bucket seats from uh, JPS Customs. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, got a so a lung full of dull coat from my eggplant. Uh, yeah, those are, I say those are from JPS Customs. Really nice stuff for those uh, bucket seats. And then um, also from from JPS Customs, we used his LSX motor. Which we've got mounted in in the chassis which turned out really nice i'm really happy with it these two here these are the heater hoses that'll run back down the side somebody likes me there we used uh made some brass tubing for for drive shaft and we used the uh exhaust dumps i had to do a couple uh, custom version because the exhaust dumps that came with it wouldn't fit on this motor the header exhaust dump so I used a different set of headers from the parts box and then just used the the dump boxes from the from the kit but you know nobody's ever going to see this side of the kit anyway so all you're going to see is those um, tips sticking out so there's that also I decided to go ahead and stay with the body color for the engine bay I think it looks sharp. Uh, I can kind of, I can kind of sort of drop this in there, I guess, real quick. So I think the way I like the way that turned out. So we stayed with the, stayed with the yellow for the engine bay, and that's gonna be makes for a nice look. So that's where we're at, guys. Uh, we, Got to put the. Say we're ready for basically final assembly. We we'll start putting the headlights and the and the windows in. Um, do a little bit of touch up work on the interior section of the body, and get it put together. Um, we'll probably be putting one of the cherry um, decals across the back window. Uh, for it and I did use the, the KMA license plate on the back of him. Uh, also I'm going to probably do another a part two of this and possibly even a part three uh, or even maybe a part four because um, I want to think I'm going to build a, a trailer for this and then build a shop truck to pull it uh, using the Thacker garage decals from the for the uh, for the Camaro one, and eventually I'll probably do the Camaro as well. So that's where we're at on the Hobby Barn tribute build. And hope everybody's enjoying the build and keeping Terry in, in their thoughts and in memories. And with that, I'm going to say good morning, good evening, good night, depending where you are in the world when you watch the video. And if you like a shop card, I've got new ones coming. They'll be ready in about 10 days or so. Um, Email me your address and we'll get you one sent out no matter where you are in the world. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight everybody and kiss my ass.